Hey Aquarius and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, just welcome Aquarius. And for my returning subscribers, welcome back. So you guys, we have another general collective reading. This was supposed to be mid-month, but Aquarius, y'all know how I am. Like, y'all know I struggle, okay? The struggle is real, posting content out here in these YouTube streets. So, this is going to be y'all's new month energy check for the month of September. All right, shout out to all my Aquariuses. How y'all doing? Hope everything's going well for you guys. We're going to get right started. And I'm going to start off with some messages from Spirit from the Lover's Oracle. Let's get that going. All right, Spirit Universe, what messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius? Y'all, Rico is stretching because he's tired, so that's the noise y'all just heard. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius? We got romance. Ew, bell chicka wow wow, Aquarius. Romance. So Cupid's arrow strikes. Who y'all? Aquarius, who y'all seeing? Or is it a little, you know, a little friends with benefit, a little side thing? I'm just asking questions, Aquarius. I don't know. I'm playing. I'm just playing with y'all. But some of y'all do have a little new boot thing. I'm so happy for y'all, Aquarius, because girl, guys. We got secret admirer, okay. So somebody, listen, somebody wants y'all, Aquarius. Secret admirer, that's, that's pretty serious, Aquarius. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on, or y'all have deep feelings for somebody, but y'all trying to play hard about it, Aquarius. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Trying to add horror like you don't really like them, but you really do. Y'all better go and get them, go on ahead and snatch them up. Before they get snatched up. And then Spirit says, close your eyes. <clears throat> close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful, Aquarius. You find you deserve this love, Aquarius, that is coming to you. So be perceptive. Embrace your feminine energy. Even if you are a divine masculine and you are watching this reading, Spirit's message to you is to tap into your feminine energy, right? And be receptive to the love that you rightfully deserve because each one of us deserves to have a healthy loving happy relationship with our divine counterpart all right so spirit says you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in all right you deserve to feel joyful even if it's not necessarily in a relationship right now you deserve to be joyful just being your wholesome self your wholesome man or woman individual right and when you learn to really love and appreciate the qualities of self and what you have to bring to the table, then someone else is going to want to be a part of that as well. So I'm so happy for y'all, Aquarius. I really am. Because somebody really wants you. They really do. But Aquarius, don't start. Don't start getting an attitude. Don't start trying to trying to prove that this person is just out to get you. Don't do it, Aquarius. I'm telling y'all right now, do not do it. Spirit, what's the message for Aquarius? Y'all, what did I do with my tarot deck? I got all these. Okay, here it is. What's going on with Aquarius right now? I was just about to say, don't tell me I done moved it. Okay, here we go, Aquarius. Spirit Universe, what messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius? Messages for the sign of Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, please keep in mind this reading will not resonate with every single Aquarius. So please check the other placements in your natal chart. Okay, because it may not resonate with you. It will not. So for some of you, so, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest. If it don't apply, let it fly. Because I have to say this, you know, every video. All right. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? And please, Aquarius, leave me a comment down in the comment section below if it resonates for you, because I want to know. The water signs so far have um, 
been really great about communicating. Oh, snap, Aquarius, Queen of Wands. Okay. I woke up like this. Y'all are, that's what it is. Y'all are really stepping into your power and embracing that divine feminine energy. Because the Queen of Wands, she's extremely confident. She's intelligent. She's the whole package. The sun, enjoying life. Also, you guys are in a, in a, a phase, Aquarius, of abundance. You may be receiving um, a pay raise, an unexpected check in the mail or a deposit in your account. Somebody may be sending you money as a gift or bringing you gifts. Very abundant energy here. Like you see how this little <laughs> this little baby is on his horse having a great old time, just enjoying life. Some of y'all are enjoying the finer things in life, going on vacations, trips. I mean, it's summer, so, you know, hey, enjoy it, enjoy it. We have the devil. We have the devil. Some of you guys could be thinking negative thoughts, Aquarius. This is exactly why I said what I said. Thank you, Spirit. Because you have all these blessings over here. And you may even have someone seeing you, viewing you in your Queen of Wands energy. However, your own negative self-talk and doubts and fears can stand in the way and cause you to sabotage a perfectly great connection. Because you're thinking, well, what if this person doesn't stick around? Spirit wants you to use your intuition here. Trust your intuition, all right? But also, um, <laughs> keep them negative thoughts to yourself. The higher priestess, she doesn't always reveal everything she's thinking and feeling. She kind of, to me, the, the high priestess is kind of like an analyzer, kind of. She kind of carries that slight hermit mode energy, you know? And as far as like, listen, do some reflection because the high priestess for me, she's reflective. She takes into consideration the information that she's been provided with. Notice that she's seated between two scrolls. Scrolls withhold valuable information. So while you're dating this person who's your little, your little new boo thing or secret admirer or whoever they are, boyfriend, girlfriend, this new little, little thing you got going on. Spirit says, pay attention to the signs. What are they showing you? What are they saying, Aquarius? Are their actions and words in alignment with what your actions and words are? Are they in alignment with what your goals are? Are you two on the same page, so to speak? Spirit says, take in the information, observe, like the high priestess on her throne, observe, and then, tr and then use your intuition to move accordingly, right? Take in information. Three of Cups, yes. While you two are out and about, dating, eating, drinking, and being merry, having a good time, socializing. Spirit says, yes, enjoy it and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Enjoy your time with your person. Ace of Swords, but set very clear boundaries. Make those boundaries crystal clear, Aquarius. What you will and will not tolerate. All right. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo, a fire sign for some of you guys, an Aries or a Leo. Yep, definitely big Aries energy. The tower, Spirit says to cut it off if you need to. Cut it off if you need to. When you come to a realization, right? I came to a realization and I hope you can take it. I hope you can take it up too good to you. I'll wait too good to you. Yeah, once you come to that realization, cut off what is not serving you. Even if it makes you feel heartbroken and alone, Aquarius, do what needs to be done. But it's fair to say, protect your peace and energy at all costs. You have got to stand firm on your boundaries. But make sure you communicate clearly, though, because the Ace of Swords is here. That's a very strong message, it's very prominent. Ace of Swords. Communicate what your needs are in your connection. Communicate what your expectations for the relationship is. That way, the person can't say, oh, I didn't know. No, you knew. You knew. I made it very clear, sir. Very clear, ma'am. The Hermit. Yes. Reflect. Reflect. Also, I'm getting, um, I'm getting another message. Here with the Hermit and the Tower, Three of Swords. Some of you guys have gone through a breakup in the recent past with someone. This person may have been a fire sign, possibly, or a Virgo, because the Hermit is here.
But Spirit is also wanting you to step into your power and your Virgo energy and be able to really see through the bullshit with the Ace of Swords and also analyze and learn the lesson from that connection so that you can move forward clearly with this Ace of Swords going into the next one. Spirit says, is this someone you can build with? Are you wanting to build a solid foundation, Aquarius? That's the question here. That's the question here. Does this person have to give? Do they want to give? Four of Pentacles? Or are they holding back? That's the question. Is this someone you want to give to? Or should you hold back? That's the question, right? The problem is there's chemistry between you two. This person feels may feel familiar to you because we have the Six of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. But Spirit says, be careful. Be careful with that because familiarity can breed, look, can breed contention, Ten of Wands, drama, unexpected changes, things you didn't know about, things you weren't expecting, heavy burdens. Well, you didn't know he had three kids. You didn't know that he, he has a hard time finding employment because he has a background. You didn't know she had an STD. I'm just being realistic here. So, you know, make sure that you really get to take the time and get to know this person before you offer yourself emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. Make sure before you offer yourself that this person is in alignment with your values, your value system and belief, because otherwise you guys are going to clash, Aquarius. So the real question here is, are they in alignment? You may be a little bit nervous because, of course, you know, relationships are a little bit risky. But love is worth the risk. This person does, does have romantic feelings for you. Whoever this is coming toward you, they do have romantic feelings. They have love for you. But Spirit says, take your time, Aquarius. Take your time. Baby, we can do it. Take your time. Do it right. We can do it, baby. Seven of Pentacles, why did that come through? But anyway, take your time. See if this is really worth the investment. If it ain't, then just, you know, move on. But Spirit so saying, see if it's really worth the investment, Aquarius. All right. Let's see what you guys can expect in the next few days. Spirit, what can Aquarius expect within the next seven days? Possibly in the next seven days. What can they possibly expect in the next seven days? Oh, the two of swords. Kind of not being sure, Aquarius, being a little confused about what you want to do. It's all right. It's all right. Take some time. Queen of Wands. But stepping into your power and realizing your worth, Aquarius. Not settling for bare, bare minimum bullshit. Queen of Wands. Love it. Being confident and knowing what you know. And knowing what you have to offer. Oh, this is your energy. The star. Healing. Really focusing on healing from past connections that burned you or scarred you in some type of way. Beautiful energy. And being hopeful and optimistic about anything better coming your way. Because you deserve it. The tower. Major shifts and changes. Spirit wants you to be aware of that. Major changes coming. Changes coming, Aquarius. Look, three of wands. But it, it changes for the better, though. It's for growth. The three of wands is all about growth. So, you know, right now where you may be feeling alone, you may be feeling hurt by the last connection, three of swords, this keeps coming up. So some of you guys, specifically Spirit, wants you to know that there's inner work that needs to be done, Aquarius. So do your work. Heal before you start dealing with other folks. So that's the message. That's been your reading. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below if this reading resonates for you. Please thumbs up the video, turn on your notifications, and until next time, love you guys.